president and the wife of the president, you need a large staff. But it would seem to me that uh, we have, uh, following Mr. Bush, and I wasn't a great admirer of Mr. Bush, we have now a president in the White House who seems to know everything and intervenes and takes decision in so many different fields. Now, I happen to just take decisions in one field, economics, and I even don't have the time to read everything that is happening in economics and in financial uh, markets and in other asset markets such as say, commodities, real estate, bonds, and so forth. So how would someone like Mr. Obama have the time to read everything that is relevant to taking the decisions he's taking? Now, Mark, uh, as we close, uh, any final thoughts on anything? Well, basically, you know, we had a big rally between March and uh, the beginning of August in uh, equity prices. And it's interesting if you look at how asset markets moved, 2002 to 2007, everything goes up, but the dollar is down. 2008, everything is down and the dollar is up. And then since early March, everything is up again, but the dollar is down. And uh, so my view is that after this strong rally in equity prices that we had, we are due for some kind of a resting period, a correction. And during this correction time, maybe bonds and the dollar could rally somewhat, maybe for a month, maybe for three months. And that if equity prices go down below, say, 900 or approach 8, hundred on the S and P five hundred. We'll have stimulus package number two, more deficits and more money printing. In other words, the weaker the economy becomes, the more money printing you'll have. And uh, therefore we may not revisit the lows of March at six hundred sixty six on the S and P five hundred on March sixth. But uh, rather have a uh, an economy that in real terms does badly, but where stock prices go up for the simple reason that money is being printed and for the reason that the government, with its zero interest rate policy, wants to force people to speculate. Because obviously when interest rates are zero and we ha when you have an inflationary bias, to hold cash is in the long run not a desirable proposition, nor is it desirable to own government bonds. So let's say you don't want to own cash in the long run, you don't want to own government bonds in the long run. What else is there? Real estate, stocks, and, and say commodities. Now for most people to invest in commodities is not so easy, whereby most people could buy physical gold. But ideally, they should keep it outside the U.S. Uh, then a lot of money flows, obviously, into equities, which is the ultimate investment destination of most financial institutions. As we close, Mark, can you tell our listeners uh, how they can follow your work? Well, I have a website uh, called www.bloomboomdoom.com. Bloomboomdoom.com. Okay, Mark. Thanks so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Bye-bye.